We will not be taken advantage of anymore. We're a great country. We're going to be an even greater country, hopefully greater than we've ever been before. We have such potential. We just secured a record $700 billion in funding to rebuild our military, which was in very sad shape. And we have approval for next year, $716 billion. We're ordering new planes. We make the best in the world. We're ordering new ships. We're ordering new military equipment. And we even gave our great warriors a raise. Gave them a raise. For the veterans, we passed the largest VA reforms in half a century, a landmark VA accountability law. You know what that is. You couldn't fire anybody that worked in the VA. They were sadistic in some cases. They were lazy. They were this. They were lots of different things. You could never fire anybody because the accountability, you could forget it. So we passed a bill that they've been trying to pass for almost 40 years. It's called VA Accountability, where now you bring the person into the office and you say, Jim, I'm sorry to tell you, you're fired. Get out of here. Boom. And even more important, and I didn't think I'd be saying this so soon because I would campaign on this, I used to go out during the campaigns, and you know because I was in Minnesota a lot, but obviously one more trip, ay, ay, ay. That won't happen again. But one that's really important to me, and I used to say to myself, I wonder why doctors don't just take care of our great vets. We just passed Veterans Choice legislation, passed, signed. That gives our veterans the care they deserve, the care they earn. Now look, so our veterans were waiting online for nine days, for 12 days, for three weeks. Some went online with a minor problem. They ended up having a terminal disease. Now, I said during the campaign, before I knew too much about it, but there's a lot of common sense in life. I say, instead of one of our great veterans waiting for two, three, four, five weeks, why don't we let him go see a doctor and pay the bill? And that's what we're doing. That's veteran's choice. That's veteran's choice. And you know, when I went to people, I thought, well, I, I thought, oh, I think I'm such a genius, okay. I thought this was like the greatest idea, but I went to the vet groups, I went to everywhere, yeah, we've been trying to get that passed, sir, for 30 years, okay? I didn't know that, but what I did know is I knew how to get it passed, and we got it passed. <laughs> Two weeks ago. And by the way, we passed another one, it's called Right to Try. Do you know what Right to Try is? Very proud of it. Right to try. These are people that are terminally ill. It's, it's sad. They travel all over the world if they have the money. If they don't, they don't know what to do. If we have drugs that haven't been approved yet but are showing tremendous promise, it didn't matter. It didn't matter how sick you were, where you were, you couldn't get it. And the reason was, they didn't want to do anything that's going to hurt you. You're not going to be around for five weeks. In five weeks, I kept saying, why can't we do something? If people had the money, they'd travel to Africa, to Asia, to Europe, trying to find the cure. It was called hope. They wanted hope, and they couldn't get it. I said, it's ridiculous. I got involved. And this is also like Veterans Choice. For many years, people have tried to pass. And Kevin was a great help, I have to tell you. Kevin McCarthy, who just left the stage, was a great help. So were your congressman, a great help. And we got 
right to try passed, and four weeks ago, I signed final legislation. And we're very proud. And many people are going to be saved. Many, many people are going to be saved. And you'd think it would be easy, but it wasn't. Between the insurance companies and the healthcare companies and the pharmaceutical companies, it was incredible. But we did that. And now we're bringing down the prices for prescription drugs way down. So we've made this incredible progress together with your help, with the help of the millions and millions of people that, well, some polls got it right, but not all polls got it right. But they showed up, and the beginning of that night, people are saying, you know, this could be a big problem for the Democrats. They were not liking what they were seeing. They were seeing too many of those hats. They were seeing too many people with, you know that. That was an amazing evening. That was one of the most incredible evenings, because that's a movement the likes of which this country has never seen before. This country has never seen. You know, we talk about the forgotten men and women. They're the smartest people. They work the hardest. They pay taxes. They do all of the things. And yet, they were the forgotten people. And believe me, our people are the smartest and the hardest working. Smarter than anybody and the hardest working.